morning. It's a, another beautiful Saturday this morning, and the show is Perspectives. I'm your host, Yinka Kenny. As usual, I come here every Saturday morning, and this is what we do here. We bring you all the gist. If it happened, it's happening, or it's being talked about. The gist is right here on the show. And you know that here on Perspectives, we don't only bring you the gist. We try as much as possible to break down the news so that everybody can understand even all the big, big grammar in the uh, uh, that is in the news. We try to bring break down the news in a relaxed atmosphere. Yes, this morning we're bringing you the COVID-19 update. Uh, a big thank you to everyone that is still at the forefront. Ah, the medical practitioners, the clean, even to the cleaners, to you know the non-medical pra practitioners, everybody, you know, working and they, 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 you see the, the 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 irony of it is that those people most of the times they don't even see their family, their loved ones for uh, a period of two weeks, three weeks. They are about. We say thank you. We recognize what you're doing. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. And then the COVID-19 update in Nigeria as at uh, yesterday evening uh we had um nigeria had uh, 373 new cases of covid 19 in nigeria and um, now we have a uh, total uh confirmed cases in uh, Nigeria to be 48,116 and um, 34,309 has been discharged so far and unfortunately we have 966 deaths from COVID-19 and the breakdown of the cases uh, as of last night is uh, Lagos came down with uh, 69 new cases, Osho 41, Kaduna following 40, and Oyo also 40, Federal Capital Territory 35, Plateau 22, Rivers 19, Kano and Ondo came down with 17, Ogun 15, Abia 14, Gombe 12, Imo 9, Enugu 7, Kuala 6, Delta 5, Niger 2, Bronun, Bauchi, and Nasarawa came down with one case each in the states. I would pray that well the, the, the curve will begin to decline and then we can return to live our normal lives. Okay, talking about living our normal lives. You're going to call me this morning, but not yet. Uh, not yet. Uh, you call me later because you're going to tell me how you started living your uh, a bit the new normal let me call it the new normal but before then i'm going to still talk about this menace that has become a problem in our society as of today we're talking about rape rape has become a menace and you know the belief also far is that uh, there are some parts of the country that they don't even address this issue they don't even feel talk seem as if it doesn't even seem as if this is a problem at all but i tell you yes sir uh, we are we are happy we're grateful that the campaign of saying a no to rape is going all over the country and i tell you even up to the northern part of the country yes people are rising up even in the northern part of the country to say no to the menace of rape rape is is not something that is acceptable and in nigeria we will continue to say no to rape and um, we as like i will always say it when a lady says no and no is no yes um i'm going to show you this little clip to for you to understand the fact that yes the campaign also is going on in the northern part of the country this clip has been supported by the first lady of Kirby State. And you know, as the media women, we will also continuously say a no to rape. The media women, they have come also to support this cause, even with the first lady of Kirby State. Is a no to rape. Is a no to the culture of silence. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and watch this.
bana so na ce bana so kar ki yadda wannan magana ta kullu a dandan sa da zumunta kilfa wudangin mu asiri ki shuru da bakin ki kar kowa ma ya ji kullun sai ya ce in rufa idanu na zai mun addu'a sai in ji ya fara tabani ife mana baki na fuka please abba bana so kai hakuri abba bana so ya mu shuru ya saki dangan ta mahaifin ki da wannan aika aika dan Allah ka wuka bari wallahi da zafi na roke ka dan Allah ka bari wallahi da zafi kamar zan mu shi shuru da bakin ki kar ki kara cewa kawon ki ne miki wannan abin ba na so na ce ba na so me fa mutane baki a lugunguma mai wari jiki mai miji na zai rake ki sake ba ka ki ko mace ce ni ran abin zai dinga ki ya Hakuri yata, haka halu mazari, si hakuri. Wewe, hmm, le pinki ni yake kisa wana masasinga. Idan na sa kijo wana magana, si na wula kanya. Kiu amtani shuru. Shiruba ni ya wuce ce mai daraja ban yi nawa duniya ba lefi bane na daina jin tsoro zan yi ihu Yes welcome back it's a no to the culture of silence Ah, it's our time. Everyone begin to speak out and we end this minutes. Once again, a big thank you to the First Lady of Kebbi State for having the initiative to put this together and a big thank you to the Media Women uh, for, uh, for we Media Women Forum uh, for supporting this cause. A big thank you to the Olori of uh, Apu Moland, Olori Janet Afolabi for being a great support to this cause also yes moving on this morning we are talking about the new normal talking about the new normal last week sunday a lot of churches opened and after so many weeks several months of not going to church hmm, you are going to be calling me to tell me how it was at your own service probably in the church or at the mosque was there a social distancing was there washing of hands Yes, our correspondent in MITV, Kyle De Alao, he was out on the street. And that's what you can see on the TV right now. We can see this is a particular church. Oh, oh, they are, they, you can see that they even register so that they don't exceed the number of people in church. Which means uh, if you didn't come to church early, you are, unfortunately, you might not be a part of the service. That's the new normal for now. Yes, we can see people registering on the screen right now. That was what happened in some churches. I want you to call me to tell me what, wow, you can even see the Oba with uh, the, the, well, maybe it's an Oba, maybe it's just a traditional chief uh, having to uh, use the sanitizer before coming, going inside the church and he has his uh, face shield. Those are the ushers maintaining the physical distance between themselves and all of them with their face masks oh my god this new normal please call me this morning the number to call is 0810851-6644 i want to hear what happened at your own service probably at the mosque probably in your church how it went down wow pastor preaching also with is face max that's a new normal how did it go down at your own service call me and let's share your perspective on the show do you think this can be maintained or do you think with time it will just um, fade away or do you think we are going to you know keep on with this and carry on with this you can even see the choir maintaining distance what uh, what happened after the service was what was there no I hope there were no hugs and uh, no, oh, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Call me this morning. The number to call, please, I want uh, my director to roll it on the screen. The number to call is 0810-851-6644. You know that on the show, it's all about your perspective. Let me know. I don't want to know what happened at the mosque. 
they was there. You know, some time ago, I had a, an imam on the show, and he said that uh, uh, because of the COVID-19, there will be nothing like the, uh, is it South Fudede, where you have to touch your neighbor and all that. So that will be cut off the uh, uh, service in the church. Call me this morning, please, my director, roll the number on the screen. I want people to call me. Tell me what happened at the mosque. Tell me what happened at the church. La this past uh, week, let's share your perspective. 0810-851-6644. Let the number be there on the screen so that people can call me to share their own perspective this morning. You can also send me text messages and uh, let's hear your own uh perspective this morning now moving away from the church mosque and the the, the new normal ah well there's a, another what would i call it let's say buhaha going on right now at the university of lagos this is our problem with position and you know here and there a lot of back and forth it is this time around the vice chancellor of the university of lagos professor Oluwatoye he was removed though at a meeting of the governing council of unilag that meeting was held at the uh, national universities commission in abuja and chaired by Unilag's pro chancellor, who happens to be the chairman of the governing council, is no other person than the popular Dr. Wale Babalaki. Ah, all this meeting was held on Wednesday, where the present vice chancellor was removed, according to them, in the meeting. At the meeting, they said seven members of the council voted for the remover. All four voted against his removal. One of them voted that he should be placed on suspe suspension. <laughs> it's uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, what is happening, what is happening here and there about uh, in uh, um, University of Lagos. And um, according to the council, it was said that um, the VC was sacked based on investigation of serious acts of wrongdoing, gross misconduct, financial recklessness, and abuse of office. His removal was to be with immediate effect. That was what the council decided. However, the, the, our popular ASU, the usual ASU, they have gone to come out to say that that's the academic staff union of universities the unilag branch they have come to condemn that psyche you know the, the chairman of uh, asu uh, dr dele ashiru you know what he said he said he raised he has raised strong allegation against dr babalaki he said that um, dr babalaki is the main architect behind this sack that is the one that had wanted you know this uh, Professor uh, uh, Ogundipe out. So is the one behind it. Those are the allegations of uh, the Unilag uh, uh, chairman of ASU. And uh, he said, according to the Unilag branch of ASU, they said that as for them, Professor, uh, Professor Ogundipe remains the VC. However, Committee of Vice Chancellors, represented by the Secretary General, also Dr. Professor Yakubu, uh, he too has come out to condemn the removal of Professor Ogundipe. He will condemn it now. She be all of the Committee of Vice Chancellors. So if they allow it, it will one, one good thought deserves another. It will still come to happen to them. Well, they are now calling on the Senate. Say, Senate to come and enter this matter. Yes, it's all about your perspective on the show. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break.
you are still on to the show perspectives you know that here if it happened is happening or is being talked about we bring you the just here right here on the show and this morning we're talking about the churches the marks and the, the new normal you know how we have to live you know when we want to do our social gathering maintaining the social distancing or using sanitizers and washing of our ends yes i want to hear your perspective this morning oh i don't know what's happening my cause <sighs> Okay. Hello. Okay. okay. Hello. Okay. I don't know. My calls this morning are, are jamming. Okay. If you can send in, if you can call in, just send in your text messages, and I'm going to read it out. So we have talked about. Okay. I hope I'll be able to pick this one. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay. Please, uh, when you call, please put down the volume of your TV set so that you can hear me through the phone and the, the viewers also can hear you please call in the call the lines are somehow jamming this morning uh let's talk about what's happening what happened at unilag and is still ongoing because the matter is still there they're calling on uh, the 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 committee of uh, vice chancellor and um as they are calling on senate to come and enter this matter please come and enter this matter to uh so that we can have uh an end to this matter i think i can still try and pick your calls but if you cannot get through uh, through the phone call please just do well to send the message i won't read i will read your message out um this morning and uh, my second story for you this morning hmm. This one is a yam pepper scatter scatter, like my people will say. Okay. Hello. 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 Put on the volume of your TV set. Sorry. Do well to call me back. Okay. This is my second story is yam pepper scatter scatter. There have, there have been allegations somewhere around Dokbemu in Lagos State. Hmm. Two people were fighting over their girlfriend. Hello, good morning. Oh, sorry. Send me text messages. I don't know my the lines. No, it's network. At times it's funny. Uh, send me text messages or you keep trying maybe I'll be able to pick your call now I said this one is young pepper scatter scatter two people were fighting one um, Ayodele Eniola and uh, Kayode Babashola they were fighting over their girl a girlfriend Basirat the fight went into another stage all of a sudden a certain uh, man or bad image he saw that this fight is getting out of hand he came in to intervene to you know broke up peace amongst these two people fighting unfortunately one of those that uh, were fighting the babashola he had a sharp object on him he brought out the sharp object in the aim of stabbing the guy he was fighting with, that is the Ayodele, unfortunately, he stabbed Obadimeji, the peacemaker, in the chest. Obadimeji was rushed to the hospital, but unfortunately, he didn't survive it. Ah, please try and call. Maybe I'll still be able to pick your call. Unfortunately, he did not survive it. What do we call this? we have to be careful on all sides this is a very very sad it's very very sad but when i read this story i just i just 
I just couldn't help but to feel so, so sad, so, so sorry. You know, somebody in the bid of trying to broker peace between two people. And I keep telling people close to me, not close to me, there's no, there's no point in fighting. There's nothing, you know, worth fighting for. Fighting over a girl. For crying out loud, why can't you just let go? And now uh, the three of them, the two people fighting and the girlfriend, they are in the police um, custody presently. But unfortunately, a life has been lost. Unfortunately, an innocent life that does not even, is not even concerned, doesn't even know what, you know, transpired between them. Let's be careful and let's um, try and live a very, very peaceful life. Nothing, nothing is what fighting for yes quickly before i leave the studio at oh uh, i don't know the lines are jamming this morning you can still send your text message probably i will be able to read it but before i leave the studio this morning yes i'll leave you with i want to go we cannot do but uh go to uh the social media uh ben more bruce has gone to twitter to say that i am worried about our medical profession and how they treat patients have you ever sued a doctor are a hospital in Nigeria for negligence that resulted in the death of a loved one or do you just say it was the will of God as usual that is what we always say here in uh, this part of the world also Oloye Aki Alabi went to Twitter to say it's no longer making sense that cinemas are still closed they have assured government and the public that they are ready to open at least that at, at less than half capacity Planes are flying full capacity. Parties are going on. Don't let me mention rallies. Also, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I don't want to mention anything. Well, that was according to Oloye Akin Akilabi. And Reno Omokri, I'm leaving you with Reno Omokri this morning. Life is short. Eternity is long. Thus, the best use of life is to use it to prepare for eternity. You don't believe in life after death. Okay. When your phone stops working, does your SIM card die? Likewise, your body, when your body dies, your spirit lives on, which is the truth. And uh, that's all I can give to you on social media this morning. Uh, from uh, I have a text message from Daddy Revelation from Agbede, uh, a Greek. Sunday service in CCC Ekin Parish was great. There was real social distancing, washing of hands, applying of sanitizers, testing, etc. Also checking up temperature thank you for that good one from uh Agbede. even far uh, uh, all the way at Agbede, they kept to uh the new normal that's very very good to know uh and that's all we can take this morning that's where i call it a wrap remember because the economy is being opened gradually we are returning back we're all being told to go to church to mosque and do our normal activity it doesn't mean that covid 19 is not somewhere around the corner please live your life with care try as much as you can to maintain the physical distance and use your face marks as much as possible till i come your way on this same show same time same station next week i remain your host Yinka Kenny is my name. Stay blessed and stay safe.